Fialin in Nicola Brown, ni lend out no grab and boss and Ni ran an end score in Prine, uh, yet far out a draw score of a hem, a highly head or down, near of Shagesh to Gosta Clan Brown. When he got the ball in his hand, um, Tiberi, I think we're a different team. He gave us all confidence because everything looked so easy to him. He was a player that would get on any county team. Kerry, Cork, Dublin, Galway. He was a class player. People always say I was mad to play football, you know, like because uh, hurling was the number one game in, in the county. I love football and it didn't matter to me where I was from. By Declan Brown and Shade All Star Pellet Ask the Bradori. Achagunde in the Rotten Fell Tonish Dirty here Gunamoint, Ni Bohoreska Hulsha. The tradition in Tipperary is if you're able to hurl, you'll play hurling. And if you're in Kerry, you'll play football. Every young boy wanted to play hurling for, for Tip, and I was no different and growing up. But um, then as the years went on, playing with my lords, we were mainly a football club. So football kind of took over. And then from, I suppose, under 16, minor, I always wanted to play with Tip in football. The first time I saw him was uh, under 16. I remember him playing a, a club game. and. See a guy that young being able to kick with both feet and, you know, he's no bigger than a short button, but yet he's able to jump above bigger guys and all that. So, I mean, it was stick in your mind when you see a unique talent like that. In 1995, I suppose, um, we went down to play Cork in Killarney in the minor final and given no chance, as, as usual, with, as being from, from tip, especially in football. But um, we um, stuck to our task that day and we, we came over with a three-point win. But that was a huge, huge achievement. In 1996, I suppose, um, Hurling kind of took over as well with us. Um, I was lucky enough to make the Tipperary minor hurling panel. I came on as a sub in the, in the drawing game against Galway, but I started the replay, and thankfully we, we won that game, and all our minor uh, medal is, is nice in the back pocket. In the year 1996, I mean, no one would have known Declan when he came on the scene first, other than this little guy playing Conor Ford. The jersey looked too big for him and everything like, you know. Um, but after maybe 10 or 15 minutes, you know, guys would kind of realise then that this guy is, is something special. Like, it's amazing the change in psychology of even superpowers like Cork and Kerry. The best defender went on Declan. And Declan Brown the lower. And that is a good goal. A good goal by Declan Brown. I was able to get the money 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 to get the the money to get 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 the money Hachenshit Korfko Gus Kiri here in Tivoli and Tarrant, and Gus Hogadorai, Ed Lindert, Sigade Walter. And Limerick and Tipperary footballers start the Monster Championship. When the draw came out, we knew we had we'd a good chance of getting to a Monster final. This is Declan Brown. When you have Cork and Kerry, it's, it is very hard for the likes of Tip and Waterford and Limerick and Clare to, to make the breakthrough. Brenda Cummins made a huge run from, I think, her own half back line and it must be 60 or 70 yards solo run and I slipped off my marker and, and thankfully he passed it to me and we, we got the goal from that and it set us on the, the right the right road then. Declan Brown has scored a goal and two points. Actually, I think Declan Brown has scored a goal and I think he's going to be a big fan of the game and I think he's going to be a big fan of the game and I think he's going to be a big fan of the game and I think he's going to be a big fan of the game and I think he's going to be a big fan of the game. No answer to Declan Brown. A goal and four points. We had come down to the house room, but I guess Cliffy Canish the moon. With ten minutes to go, I think there was only two or three points in it. And then we got a penalty. Brian Burke was supposed to take it, but I, ha I happened to be going well the same day, and Brian just said, you take it, you're going well. So it was just a bit of um, luck that it went into the top corner, thankfully, and it kind of killed off 
players challenge and then we, I think we won by five or six points in the end. But a tally of 1-7, Declan Brown the hero, Tipperary in the Munster football final against Cork or Kerry on the 2nd of August. The Declan Rater got half a can of moon gun here to the deal. I guess you're a chat I had champagne in the Hayden, Kerry. No one gave us much of a chance against Kerry, you know, they were raging hot favourite, but we get we did, we gave ourselves, we pre we prepared well, and um, we had nothing to lose, you know, going up to Torres that day. Declan on the day, of course, was did what Declan does like, you know, to be fair. Starved of possession, really, I suppose, the best way of putting it, but still made the best of whatever he got. And even with us kicking the ball into him, we wouldn't say it was an exact science every time the ball was kicked into him, you know, so he was feeding off a scrap sometimes. Pumping it in long, down towards Declan Brown. Now he's running the dig on his marker. On the run, he hits it, and there it goes once again. For the first half, we were, we were very, very competitive. Um, and we went in at halftime just a point behind it. We were happy in the dressing room at, at halftime that we had, our, we had our work done. The start of the second half, Kerry kind of turned the screw a small bit and they were getting in for chances. Win for this Barry O'Shea. Champions beginning to play. We went up the field and we scored a goal. Um, James Williams scored a goal and it kept us in the game, but then the class of Marcel Sherrill told in the end that like Conor O'Dwyer had a huge, huge game on him, but he just tapped over a few points and kind of killed us off. You just get tired. It's so wrecked from chasing Kerry fellas around the pitch when we didn't have the ball, you know, that, that eventually, you know, they picked us off. Gets away this time from Mark Sheehan, still Fitzgerald. Trying to make a room for himself, swings in a shot, which is gone over the ball. Were we disappointed after? Of course we were, but like, it's, it's a huge achievement for us at that time to play in the Munster final, like especially for the younger guys on, on the team. The progress that Tipperary have made will bring on football from the Premier County. After the Munster final, I suppose, we all thought that the input with Tip was finished, but towards the end of the year, um, when the All-Star nominations came out, and I was part of it, um, you know, you'd never, like, it's only a dream to say that you'd win an All-Star, and especially being from Tip, um, you'd think it would never happen. <laughs> finish on a little bit of a high note because this player is Tipperary's first ever football all-star and a special round of applause I think for Declan Brown looking back on it now like it, obviously it's, it's it's a great it's a great great achievement and always one I'll be I'll be proud of Beyond the Hrevige in our score all in the mid a yinche a grave the moon and glen out of half hour or if she can keen it could bat us as a tear. It's only a phone it on a cadena to buy a head of in a stick and brown a hand as a maid we went to Mahage, such a be in the grave visha game or could eat some. It's only gonna need a grave a lean on I guess it's only grave a star tilting. And the lift he gave to Tiberi football. You know, it was just it was just unbelievable, you know. And to all of us as players as well, because I mean we all felt part of the Declan story. We call Declan a mo. I guess the after got banished to Hildara, me called Dwyer Simon. Skypner off league mach Declan a gash through a hibardar in Hildara, a gmach chance again at one ele eight in a ruin. There was a period there when I went to Kildare. I said to the Kildare fellas, there's one player in, in the country. And I said, he has no chance of winning an All-Ireland or a provincial title with Tipperary. There was a few people, I think, approached him at the time to play for Kildare, but he was loyal to Tip and he stayed with Tip. But we nearly had him. Just like we had David Beckham and all the other managers that come and looking for him, like, you know, the, if you believe the rumours, there was his mother was making tea for every inter-county manager in the country who was coming down offering him houses and cars and all that. All these rumours were seemingly attached to Mikko, you know, and wherever Mikko went, um, I was always rumoured to be going to that county in, in Leash. Um, it was, I remember reading in the paper um, when Mikko took over Leash that I had a house built in Ratdowney. I was married to a, a Leash girl and I was going playing with Leash, you know, so it's... it's how, how do they make up these stories? I honestly don't know. Cathy Gryf on Cathy Gryf. Cathy Gryf rodeig in a gul of hyn a rolish. Sorry, my lord, Shanna. Shantrona bohem a gado by the crave na hirn. Rolim rodeig in a vohl de vohna shunta. Is far the hands of vecha gumle kiel darish in a yen of namar vecha gumle tapar darn. My club meant everything to me, my lovers, so that means I would have had to transfer 
club as well to, to play for these counties, so that was never, never, never an option. <laughs> I was called into the overall panel, say the, the 45 for the tip hurlers. I know now looking back that football really suffered, um, but I had to take the chance with the Tipperary hurlers, you know. But uh, Nicky English at the time was in charge of the hurling team in, in Tip, and he made the decision to bring him into the hurling panel at the time and dropped him after, actually. So I always thought that he would have made it to the hurling team, but he never did after. He probably should have gotten more chances, I would say, you know, and he might have blossomed a bit more in it, but his heart was always with football. Sorry, Molly, by Declan Brown, good day, I guess. He's still here. Gumach <laughs> is coming in, hitting the stanchion and the side netting, but very clearly the ball was wide before it came back into play to Jerry Murphy, who, like any good corner forward, did what he had to do and put it into the back of the empty net. The umpire had to duck to get out of the way of the ball, you know, and to see it come back and, and to be tapped in, like, we, we couldn't believe it. Going in at half-time, we were, we were really, really aggrieved um, because of what happened. Hindsight, looking back on it, should we have come back out for the second half? I don't think we should. Pressure was kind of put on us by our county board to get back out because obviously there would have been fines and implications after. But we said we'd go out and see could we turn it around, but we were never going to win that game after that decision. That's Sir Morris Fitzgerald back towards Moynihan. Two key men on this team. Here's Morris Fitzgerald making a better angle. It'll curl in, but does it curl enough? And that disputed goal after seven minutes will be the big talking point. I think that obviously Tipperary are going to feel very hurt over what has happened. And it always seems to happen to weaker counties, these bad decisions. Hoil Declan Amach had Rovilgs a heel, Mario Lerhortu. A Rovilgs a doe, he shall ash at a hand yam and I enclosed a glyph of Yash and the moon. Obviously, from, from tip, you're, you're watching the draw very carefully to see can you avoid Cork and Kerry. Um, and as I know the other counties, the other weaker counties are doing the same. So we got clear in, in um, semi final in Killarney. It was basically my first game back for tip football after the injury, you know, and all the training I'd done, and I, I felt good. Chance here for uh, Lambert, he gives the ball in. Declan Brown with a goal scoring chance, and that is pure class by Declan Brown. So, before the half even gets underway here in Fitzgerald Stadium, Killarney. Sean Maher brings the ball forward for Tipperary. And danger straight away, Declan Brown. What a spectacular goal from Declan Brown. I remember him getting the ball out in the sideline, and he caught inside, and everyone thought he was going to you know, kick this out of bar. But he hit it the outside of his right foot, and it flew into the, <laughs> into the top corner, you know. He had one thing on his mind, top corner. That's a good effort, and that is an absolutely sweet point by Brown. And that's it. The game has ended. The teams finish level. There's Declan Brown, really back to his best. And, uh, his point at the end saved Tipperary. For Tipperary and Canis Arid and Blar, Hish Ahmert, the Ayhurtir Khorka, a glyphic canish the moon. We had a fantastic team, you know, and Declan was absolutely flying, but the guys around him were really buzzing as well, you know. And I remember that day going into the game, and it was a real edge. There was expectation. There was great nervous tension around the group as well, you know, and we figured, right, this is our day. Cork had no answer to what Declan was at. Good ball inside. Brown, their leading scorer. And illustrating exactly why Declan Brown puts it over the bar.
I think I remember about Declan is when he looked in, he gave a little point as to where he kind of half wanted the ball. And you knew then if he got it roughly there, he was on to it. So I mean, he was the real twinkle toes job, you know. He was thinking around the place, Cockburn. <laughs> How are we going to mark this fella, like you know? Brown once again. So here, like a hard and large in for sure. Some of us are hooky in the front tee on Emmert. Now here, Keanu can he's far enough here. It's a very big crowd present. Good atmosphere, and Brown is unstoppable. We should have seen a gun fire hunt if you want your Napoli in a a spook. I guess Shinrod my gear into the end has been told which I decker it's on the block, but we shouldn't decker it block all. But Rafa Goni. I will need to check the heights of the car. Never. I just can't feel it. Here, I'm not sure. I just, I'm not being clear. Shan, I'm not That's another beauty by Dylan Brown. I always remember myself and Peter Lambert. I think we scored six or seven points from play between the two of us. You know, and um, we were on fire, and we were just mad for the ball. We wanted the ball every every time we came in. We wanted it. We wanted it. It felt right for us in the first half. But I remember in the second half, then it kind of all dried up, and we were under pressure up there, and the, the, the space that we had in the first half was gone. And the second half gets underway here. What a catch! Colin Corkery looking to score it himself. That is an amazing point! With 10 minutes left, we found ourselves ahead and things were going, were going great. But unfortunately, we tired. I know myself, I got cramp, you know, and it was, it was just a huge frustration around the middle of the field. Typical stronger teams, they just wear you down and wear you down. They don't panic and um, they... I think Colin Corkery hit the point to, to put them a point up in the last in the last minute. Now right, Kelly fisted the point for us then to um to draw it and so we got caught up in the euphoria again and the excitement of it that people said well done but we only drew the game at, at the end of it you know and it's probably looking back on it it is a huge huge disappointment for us. It was a game which I think everybody really did enjoy. It could have gone either way. And Tacht and Argion, Timur Tibur Dorin, August Korka Edisht, Sinahemert. My God, what, what a different story like, uh, we could make. You know, we just didn't get up to the pace of the game. We just weren't ready for the fight. And Cork, again, obviously had all their homework done and they learned a huge lesson from from the first day and they just wiped us, you know, and it's it's a game we just kind of wipe out of our memory because we just were not ready. It was an awful pity because it probably did make a, a mockery of the, the first day. How could we be so close? But it's always the same, like the, the, the underdog only gets one chance and that really proved it to us. It's a rare visit to Cork Park for the footballers of County Tipperary, but they're very determined. Some Leon Rovilux at three for Declan and Deshaw at Skill and Yedu, a part Gun Croaky, Nerakasu and Hunan Alliad, Snapal Picardi. And the ball won the toss and decided to play from left to right. After the Ryan and Murray lost Declan Brown, Desh, Blahu, and Starch is more. It's it's rather untoche. It's rather untoche than the horsey kaide the bedarn. It's rather untoche the horsey kaide. Good enough. Go make a little head against. Everyone who was involved in Tipperary football, who was delighted to see Declan Brown playing well that day, and doing all he did, not just for Tipperary football but for Declan, because we'd realised how much he put into it from the times when things were going really well to playing on teams that he was being starved of possession and, and looked frustrated, I suppose, you know. And he got his opportunity in Crow Park and he just certainly took it with both hands. And it was inspiring that day to watch what one man, I suppose, can do with a, with a team around him. The long ball is for Brown, wonderfully caught. He's inside the large rectangle, trying to make room for himself. That day against Donegal, we gave it our all, you know. I think we were a point or a point ahead at half time going in and we, we had Donegal going again, you know. And, and, and in the second half, we scored a couple of points. We went two or three points up and I think then Brendan Naveni got a goal and they got another goal to put themselves, um, put daylight between themselves at, at, at the end of the game. We needed that big win and we were there, thereabouts, but unfortunately we fell short again. They came through with style despite nine points by Declan Brown. Ach a Rovi Sakuj. For Declan of his Tibradorin and Dorn the chance of Bosch Gachroki. Made a dimmer shirt in my Loch Garman, so Gluffy Canish, Gachoran, Tommy Murphy. Come off this gonna come to you, or Hepper of the Doos, Crave Ranger, Helen Hayden. The final is underway. And 
tackling this one beautifully and it is in the back of the net. When you get the opportunity to Bray to get outside of the cock and Terry vice, I suppose, that they had on us, you really prove yourself, you know, and I think that's the Bray football has done, you know, um, and they got the opportunity to Tommy Murphy Cup and they took it with both hands. Well, that's a lovely kick, beautifully knocked over the bar by Declan Brown. Here we were in a national final to play played in Crow Park. Coming in, and it's in the back of the net, and it's a second Tipperary goal. The age was so it goals win games, and we got we got three of them that day. And it's dropped in the net. Well, Declan Brown takes the credit. We won it by a couple of points in the end. Brown looks at the target and sweeps it over again. One six. What a performance by a smiling Declan Brown. For me to, to walk the steps of the Hogan stand was just something amazing. Not too many people get to, to walk those famous steps. We were hugely honoured and, and proud to, to win that cup. It'll live in the memory of, of, of all of us uh, for a long, long time. I know it's not a Munster Senior Football Medal or an Ireland Senior Football Medal, but we won it, you know, and, and, and we can take credit for it. Declan Brown looks pleased. He gets the cup from Sean Kelly. They have won it. He may have come from one of the great counties like Area, Toronto, Armagh. Some million raw vilux a shaft, a guscana at no million of us fruit, Hokra Declan, IDS and Village of Honte, let her brodori, Achnir a shake here, the hill and a club, Fawny in the mile. When I retired from Tiff football, I owed an awful lot to my lovers, and I wanted to give them some good quality years um, that I had left. I think every inter county player has to do their service with their club when they finish. He certainly wasn't somebody who went off and collected all stars and forgot about the club that had that had given him all he had, you know. And Declan would have played club games even when he was injured, you know, and no one else would have done it. But that'd be Declan, he would not let the, the club down, you know, and um, always gives everything he had to it. And the success my rovers would have had is it's no little part to Declan, not on the field, but the work he did on off the field as well. <laughs> No trust has far given me left here in us. Half a bit Declan Brown and Christian Oil of itself. He had a great love of the game as well, you know, and I knew he had that ability. It was confidence, not arrogance or cockiness, I think, was what you saw when you looked at Declan playing football. It's a great sign of any player or, or any individual to be loyal to your county, to be loyal to your club more than anything, because when you leave your county, you can't play with your club either. Players like him should be admired for doing that. He absolutely loved to play football. Declan would be the one to dress him and say, look, lads, there'll be better days than this. You know, he never said, look, my ability is way above these guys. I need to move on to progress. He always knew where his roots were. I played the game because I wanted to play it and I enjoyed it. There's a lot more to, to life than winning and if you can call on friends or if you can look back on memories down when, when you're an awful lot older, like, it's been a successful career.